Hey everybody, I'm Lynn O'Sullivan and welcome to QRS TV. In today's first episode, I'm going to orient you to a multi-lead ECG. And the reason I thought this might be useful is I, I do find many students become a little bit overwhelmed when they look at a multi-lead ECG. They don't know where to start. They don't exactly know what they're looking at. So hopefully this will give you some tools to familiarize yourself with the layout and to know what you're looking at. So the first thing we're going to remember is that an ECG is a graphic representation of the electrical activity moving through the heart over time. And that can be recorded from multiple different perspectives or lines of sight, um, which is a lead. And so the first thing uh, we're going to talk about are the axes for this graphic representation. So there's an x-axis or the horizontal axis, which is time, and there's a y-axis or the vertical axis, which is voltage or amplitude. And we need to know the scale of those axes when it comes to doing things like heart rate, for instance. So if we look down here at the bottom, we see the scale for our ECG for the horizontal axis is set at 25 millimeters per second. And since this is metric grid paper, each one of these tiny little red boxes is one millimeter. So we know that 25 of those um, little millimeter boxes across represents one second. And then for the vertical axis, we can see here that it's set at 10 millimeters per millivolt. So that means that 10 millimeters high represents one millivolt in terms of amplitude of voltage. The other way we know that is by looking over here on the right hand side at something called the calibration pulse. And this vertical line is 10 millimeters tall, which is essentially telling us the same information. 10 millimeters is equal to one millivolt. What the, the format is, is that the machine will simultaneously record the six frontal plane leads in the top three lines, followed by the six chest leads. And so let's just run through that real quick. So here we see lead one, lead two, and lead three being simultaneously recorded in the first, second, and third lines respectively. And then when we see these little vertical tick marks, what the machine's doing is switching to the next three leads. Uh, in this case, the augmented leads, leads AVR, AVL, and AVF. And then again, when we see these little vertical tick marks, the machine is switching yet again to display three separate leads or three separate lines of sight. In this case, we are displaying the chest leads V1, V2, and V3. And then finally, at these last vertical marks, switching yet again to three other chest leads, V4, 5, and 6. And so essentially, we have an opportunity to, to see 12 different leads on these top three lines. And each of these leads represents a different perspective or, or point of view of that electrical activity moving through the heart over time. And that's why they all look different from each other or, or somewhat different from each other. And there's a lot of value to having these different perspectives, and that'll become apparent in, in subsequent episodes. And then on the bottom, the fourth line, we have a lead two rhythm strip all the way across. And, and that's fairly conventional for a lot of machines to produce a multi-lead layout that looks um, quite a bit like this. Um, so that's our, our preliminary introduction to the layout. And in subsequent episodes, we'll build on this information to get more into ECG interpretation. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.